how you doing? Good. Hey, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Did you happen to go to college? I did. What did you major in? I have two undergraduate degrees and a graduate degree. My undergraduate degrees are in mathematics and in evolutionary biology, and my graduate degree is in evolutionary biology. What are you working at now? What's your job? This is my job. Hey, it's Peter Schiff at SchiffRadio.com. I'm here in New Orleans on the famous Bourbon Street, and I want to ask some of the people who are working here tonight exactly where they went to college or if they went to college, what they majored in, when they graduated. Let's find out just what kind of career a college education buys you in America. Come along. Are you working here tonight? Yes, I am. I'm by, from California. How are you doing? Good. By any chance, did you go to college out there? Virginia State University. I'm a Trojan. Went for physical education. I'm a lingerie football player. Did you go to college? Yeah. When did you graduate? Uh, 2006. What was your major? Uh, history, English. Yeah, and now you're, you're driving a bike? Yep. What was your major? It was robotics. When did you graduate? I graduated in 2003. And what are you doing now? I'm working for a strip club. Did you happen to go to college? Uh, yeah. What did you major in? Business. Communication. Radiology. Uh, graphic design. Business management. Psychology. Science. Did you go to college? Yes. And what did you major in? Business administration. General studies. Uh, economics. What's your major? Business. Criminal justice. Culinary. Asian studies. Did you go to college? Yeah, I did. Yeah, what did you major in? Uh, political science. By any chance, did you go to college? Yeah, I did went to Tulane. What did you major in? Business. Business. What was your major? Business and marketing. I majored in mechanical engineering. Uh, I have a degree in linguistics and a degree in psychology. What did you major in? Biology. Advertising and religious studies. Business and management. Mechanical engineering. Uh, biological sciences. You think you're, was it an English degree you said you majored in? <laughs> does that does that help you uh, rock, pedal that bicycle? It absolutely does not. This is why you should not major in liberal arts. I'm a bouncer here. Yeah. What did you major in? Art. When did you graduate? Uh, a couple years ago. And what do you do now? Uh, I'm a doorman at a strip club. How long ago did you graduate? 97. How long have you been tending bar? 20 years. Did you happen to go to college? I did. Yeah, I did. You did also? Yes, I did. What did you major in? Funeral service education. I didn't even know that was a major. It is. You're the tarot reader? I am one of them, yes. Did you happen to go to college? Yes, I did. What did you major in? Accounting. And what did you major in? Engineering. Do you find your degree helpful at all? Not anymore. Is this just a part-time job, or is driving a bike what you do for a living now? It's a full-time job. It's what I do for a living. When did you graduate? Uh, about 20 years ago. Four years ago. Uh, it's been about 12 years. Uh, about a year. Two years ago. Uh, four years. About four, nope, about six years, actually, now. 21 years ago. And how long have you been reading tarot cards? Uh, about 32 years altogether. When did you graduate? College of 93 in 2010. I graduated in 04. 2006. 2004. I graduated in 1994. 98. 2010. I finished in uh, 96. 2010. I graduated in 06. 87. I just graduated in 2011 and then went to grad school and finished this last May. You went to grad school? What did you major in? Neuroscience. Yeah. And what do you do for a living? Uh, at the moment, I drive a bike taxi. I think these people want to get in the uh, pedicab. Yeah, you know, you're going to get driven around by a college graduate. Do you have any student loans? Uh, yeah, $90,000 worth. How much do you owe, if you don't mind my asking? Uh, I do mind you asking. Uh, do you have any student loans? Um, about $25,000. I've lucked out. I owe about $7,000. Like $20,000 in the hole. Do you have any student loans you're still trying to pay off? <laughs> yeah, about $25,000 worth. Uh, I, I just don't pay off. Uh, like $25,000? Yeah. That's a lot of pedaling. I still got loans to pay off, man. Still got? I still have loans, yeah. And what are you doing now? I'm working security here at uh, Ritz Cabaret. You know what my uncle always said? He's like, hey, is there anybody here with a college degree? Get me another beer. <laughs> the Peter Schiff Show. I'm just trying to do a video on why college is a waste of money. So I'm trying to talk to people who are working and who have college degrees. 
That's pretty much every bartender in the city. Well, oftentimes business education today, and I see it all the time, kids come out of college, the best colleges, Wharton and Harvard and Stanford and some of the great business schools, and they'll come out and they won't have practical experience. There's too many case studies that aren't practical. The people who are doing the work that we care about are figuring out what to do next, not following the person who told them what to do next. And the problem with most colleges is they are high school but with more binge drinking. The A students work for the B students, the C students run the businesses, and the D students dedicate the buildings. <laughs> the entire purpose of a good university is to give you a foundation to fail, not a foundation to get an A. Mm -hmm. And if you graduate from college with straight A's, you have to do some serious soul searching as to why you chose to spend your time doing that. You know, we ask uh, kids that are 16 to 18 years old to make $100,000 debt decisions when they go off to university. Where and they're not prepared for that. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. They just assume, okay, I'm going to pay four years of education at 25000 a pop, and when I come out the other side, somehow I'll be able to pay it back. Right. That's not how life works anymore. It's like the newspaper industry, right? More printing presses, more big buildings, right? Makes us look grander. We have brains that we're putting them out there. There's, there's a point of diminishing returns in terms of what it's worth for a college education and how much debt you're willing to saddle yourself with. I mean, it's actually kind of funny. Like, like, um, you know, if you think of like, what is education, like you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. And it's, it's, it's actually amazingly bad in conventional education because like, it shouldn't be like this huge chore. Um, um, at, you, you've got uh, you know, someone standing up there kind of lecturing at people uh, and they've done the same lecture 20 years in a row, and they're not very excited about it. And um, in fact, I think a lot of things people learn are probably there's no point in, in learning them because um, they, they never use them in, uh, in the future. Because a lot of kids just in, in school kind of puzzled as to why yeah. they're there. <laughs> like. Graduates of Harvard and MIT. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology. We are the premier engineering and science institution in the world. Do you think you could light a bulb with a battery and wire? Do you think you could light a bulb with a battery and wire? Yeah. Light a bulb with a battery and a wire. Maybe. Yes. All right. Definitely. Do you think you can light a bulb with a battery and a wire? Battery and wire? Well, yes, why not? Okay. Definitely. Okay. Can you do that? The interesting part about the batteries and bulbs question is that people always predict that they can do it. Students say, of course I can do this. Uh, any hints I should have here? Teachers say, of course my students can do this. Oh. Do you know why that didn't work? I have no idea. Battery could be dead, the bulb could be bad, I'm hooking it up totally <laughs> incorrectly. I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm a mechanical engineer. But if I had to guess, I would say it's operator error. <laughs> okay. I know it's possible, but I don't know how to do it. It's only after failing that you begin to get upset with the question and think, well, maybe it's a trick question, maybe this has something to do with manipulating the wires, they couldn't hold all the wires together. You don't have a current if you only have one wire, you need a complete a closed circuit. But that's not the case. Oh, uh, well, if I do it with a little light bulb, I just do this. <laughs> In which case, the, the light just lights up. It goes to the fundamental understanding of electricity. If one cannot light a light bulb with a battery and wire, then everything built upon those basic ideas has problems. Welcome back, everybody. This is Peter Schiff at SchiffRadio.com. Got a full board of calls. I will get to them momentarily at 855-4-SCHIFF. But before I do, I want to talk a little bit more about this college, this article on the Europac website about the boomerangs where kids are going off to college at 18 years old, and then when they graduate and they're 22 or 23, 
they can't find jobs, or if they can find jobs, by the time they finish making their student loan payments and paying their taxes, there's not enough le- money left over to pay rent. So they end up moving back home with their parents, and they're right back where they started when they were 18. I got a much better idea for a lot of young people who are contemplating going to college. Stay at home and skip college. Let's say you do this. Let's say you don't leave home right now. You stay at home. You're living rent-free. Just immediately apply for a job. Apply for the same type of job that a college grad would apply for, an entry-level job that a college grad would apply for. But here's what you do, because obviously you don't have a college degree. And here's how you get that job. And here's why I think a guy with a high school diploma that's going to get a job right out of high school has a real advantage over somebody with a college degree. Let's say there's, a, there's jobs that are advertised for college grads where the, job, the entry-level job, let's say it's $35,000 a year. Okay? Well, why don't you send out a resume or go knock on the door and say, hey, I want this job. I'll take it for $15,000 a year. $20,000 a year less than a college graduate. Now, no college graduate, after spending all this money on a college degree, could possibly compete with you uh, if you're willing to do the job for $15,000. But after all, you're only 18. You didn't go to college. You didn't spend any money. You're not in debt. You're living at home rent-free. There's no reason why you can't take that job for $15,000. And in a weak economy where companies are looking to cut costs, if you say, look, I'll save you $20,000 a year, maybe you can show them your high school grades, you can get recommendations from your teachers. Look, I could have got into any college I wanted to, but I'd rather work, and I'd rather learn on the job. I bet you'd get that job. And then by the time you're 22 or 23 and you have four or five years of work experience under your belt, you'll be able to earn a lot more than the 22 or 23 year old who's graduating looking for his first job and then you can move out of your parents house you can get out of there 